Hey guys, I'm Joe. Here I am on day six of a big solo canoe trip in northern Ontario. I'm actually paddling to the center of the universe as we speak. Well, at least that's what Wendell Beckwith thought it was. Wendell Beckwith was an eccentric inventor in this lifetime who moved from his home all the way to this big lake in the heart of the Wabakini District in Northern Ontario. Now I'm in Wabakini Provincial Park right now, and like I said, this is my sixth day alone on a 200 kilometer trek to this provincial park. This is the biggest lake in the park by far, and we're smack dab in the middle of it. I camped on this lake last night and the night before, and I'm paddling all day to get to Best Island. And Best Island is where the remains of Wendell's cabins, his inventions, all of his journals, his thoughts. It's He thought that, that this place was the center of the universe. He thought that Pi 3.14 had something to do with it. Very intelligent man, but definitely eccentric. Bruce, the owner at Wabakini Outfitters, knew Wendell, and he has a lot of history on him. So we're gonna go see if we can find the cabin, cabins, One's dug into the earth as well. I know some of them are falling down. We're gonna try and beat this storm there. I imagine I can make it there in about four hours or so. Again, I've already been paddling quite some time. We'll give you the history on the stuff, on him. We'll walk around and inspect all the stuff. We'll go inside the cabins. And who knows, if it storms while I'm there, maybe we're staying the night, I'm not sure. This place does feel different than the rest of the park, I can tell you that much. I've already traveled quite a bit, like I said, and uh, there is a certain feel to this big whitewater lake in Wabakini Park. It's, uh, it's magical. There's islands everywhere. It's really, really big water. The sky is very ominous and it's fitting. It's a very fitting feel for the day. Hey guys, Joe here, how you doing? We're going to get right back into the video. We're going to find out just where the center of the universe is. But beforehand, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor for this video, Raycon. Raycon is just blowing up the electronics industry by making great sound for everyone. Their wireless earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime. They have seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Raycon earbuds come in a variety of fun colors and patterns, with a variety of size fit options, no dangling wires or stems. The company was co-founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Melissa Etheridge and Mike Tyson are obsessed with Raycon. Which is pretty cool, Raycon has a 45 day free return policy. Personally, I know I've been using my Raycons for chopping wood around the house, taking tripper for walks. That tight fit really just keeps them in your ear, they don't fall out no matter what. And I've also been on a few trips this summer already. So I have a lot more canoe trips to come and with people. And I don't want to be listening to my audiobooks. I've been listening to like French trade, like Hudson's Bay era type audiobooks uh, on my phone out loud while I've been by myself. But now that I'm with people going camping, I can just pop these bad boys in. Mike can get some Z's. You know, John can get a little snooze while Joe is catching up on his history. So if you want to get a screaming deal on some quality earbuds and support my channel at the same time, just click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash tripper to get 15% off your first order. Click the link in the description below, or go to buyraycon.com slash tripper for 15% off. Thank you very much guys for watching this. On to the video, where is the center of the universe? Looks like rain. Looks a little wet up ahead there. Sunny day or it's starting to rain a little bit. I'm gonna have to pull over and put my big camera away and put some rain gear on here. I'm uh, making progress. I'm still probably an hour away or so. Big paddles. Big paddle mood. Big paddle energy today. Might be keep her straight now. The rollers are coming in and I gotta kinda go not the exact way it wants me to go. Makes me glad I did not paddle yesterday after all. It's good for the most part, but I don't need to go that way. I need to go that way to keep 
throwing my ass end out because it's heavier. I got my pack up at the front too, trying to balance it, but it's a moot point. Anyways, getting close to the island. Ugh. It's an adventure, that's for sure. Okay. Okay. Woo! On we go. Onward, young Joseph. We'll go see if there's a trail. I don't know if this is the right spot. All right, I've stashed my canoe. There is a trail. I've stashed my canoe right here. I got my big camera in a plastic bag. Looks like there's been some trees blow down. Cover the trail going in. Yeah, there's something there. Sign of the people, at least. Backpack on. Okay. Wendell. <laughs> okay. Wow. Firewood still cut and stacked. There it is. There's one of them. Oh man. Yeah, there's no sheltering in that. Holy smokes, huge, huge. Good amount of mosquitoes. Where to go first? I'll get it on my big camera once we go inside. Oh man, that is destroyed. This one looks like it's pretty good. Pretty good. Intact. Pretty intact. Look at that guy. Look at that chimney. Holy smoke. Wow. The detail. The detail. He made all this himself. Look at the door. Look at the detail. Would you just look at it? Oh, it smells of cedar. It's got a crank. What was on here? What the heck is this? Okay, it turns rope. That must have went down for some reason. Oh, it lifts this. It still works? What? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> a rat just jumped out. <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me. Look at that. For I don't know what for. They don't know what for. That is hilarious. Man, what a guy. Still works. Look at the floor. It's made up of discs, wooden discs. Like slabs that he cut and angled all to fit together. How much time? How much time? Effort. Look at this fireplace.
like snowshoes. It's like a lattice. Look at that fireplace. That is huge. That is the whole one side of the cabin. It's all rock. All stone fireplace. There's a pump there. This is like a perfect living size in here. You could definitely get it hot enough with that that big fireplace like that. Look at that cupboard. The ground is kind of sketchy in here. Oh, Wendell. Is that a stereo in there? What is that? Yeah, maybe an old radio or something. Antiseptic powder from Avon. Avon antiseptic powder. There's a bush plane flying overhead. This is very cool. I'm so deep, so deep in the middle of the wilderness right now. This dude believed that this was the center of the universe. Seriously. It's so fitting that it's a gloomy, rainy day. So fitting. Skill. What skill? Oh man. This dude knew what he was doing. Alright, well let's go check out the other cabin. I believe there's another one after this too. I believe I believe there's one in the side of built into the side of a hill. Oh, try not to get tetanus in here. The less tetanus the better, I think. <sighs> okay. I don't know. I think these might have been benches. Yeah, these look like benches that folded up. That fold down and up for store, like to save on space. And the the seat itself is made of rawhide or something. Woven together like snowshoes. Look at these are these can't be that old. There's mice been gnawing on them. Somebody might have put these here recently. Wow. It's warmer in here. National Geographic from God knows when. Oh, July 1975. Now I know when, and you do too. This is a palace. Look at the architecture in this place, man. See him sitting here doing his work. 1977. 1977-77. This is Parcheesi. Is that what that's called? Cribbage. 
himself thing. Sitting here thinking of his inventions, looking out the window. This place is so comfortable, even now. Like, it's... <laughs> I wouldn't want to sleep in that bed, you know. But I'm sure in its day. Tons of National Geographics. This is... No closet. Did I mention he made all of this? Check out the wood stove. Look at that thing. Double decker wood stove. Unless that's just a, for boiling water, but still. Nice size. Actually, it warmed this place up pretty good. People, everybody who signed it starting in 2014 on this book up to 2020 and then in this one starting at 91 1991 people from everywhere Chicago Southern Ontario lots of Lakehead University schools tourism North Carolina Indiana Missouri Massachusetts Ontario Michigan Vermont Stony Creek Rip scout. Dishes in the cupboards and everything, man. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. All right, if I'm not mistaken, there is one more cabin and it's built into a hill. And it's gotta be the coolest one yet. So I'm gonna shut this door back and go see if we can find it. There it is. I believe. Is it? Maybe not. Maybe it's not. It's a little bunky. Little shed. The old oot hoops at the center of the universe. Still gotta go to the bathroom. Where is this hill one? Hmm. There's a tree growing on the roof. He really liked angles, like look at the angles on this thing. So nice, so pretty. Alright, I might have found it. They've got some orange fence around it. I'm sure that wasn't original. <laughs> Here we go. I'm not interested in what is known. I'm only interested in what is unknown. Wendell Beckwith. Wendell Beckwith lived here from 61 until his death in 80. Look at the dude. He looks like he lived here. There he is, inventing. Center of the universe. 3.14. Cabins in all their glory.
So yeah, I believe this is the one. Yeah, this is built into the hill. Holy smokes. Wow, look at this place. Oh my, this is most impressive old one yet. Oh, it's tools. That's a barometer. Terralometer. Oh man. Old saw. This place. This place. Look at the the woodwork. There's a skylight. Again, the ground is made up of all those wooden pieces. Wendell Beckwith looked out this window a lot, I'm sure. The roof is coming in. Mm -hmm. More Nat Geos, 75, 67. Roller skate, the old school roller skate. Wow. This is wild. You can tell he put so much effort into this. This is not a normal log cabin. This isn't thrown together. This is everything meticulously thought out and executed. Little stove spot. Man, this stuff was his. Like, he used that on a daily basis, I'm sure. Check out the, how this drawer opens. Like, come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Full of pine, pine cones stashed by squirrels, I'm sure. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. The rain could stop now. I'd be happy with that. Very cool, Wendell. Very cool spot in the middle of the wilderness, the center of the universe. Well, I hope you enjoyed this trip to the center of the universe with me. I'm going to sit here, enjoy my sandwich, and then I get going because uh, I still got six or so days to go. I took a rest day yesterday, so on the water we go. If you do want to come check this place out, give Bruce at Wabakimi Outfitters a call. Have a good day, guys.